Oh, good one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was just saying I was didn't catch hadn't caught anything on that spinner bait yet. Not big, but he's good. Boy, freaking hammered it too. I just slow rolled it. Yep. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Of course, I got the sun to my back. Murphy's Law. That's that Strike King spinnerbait I picked up at the store the other day. Comes with a trailer hook. Didn't need it on that one though. My goodness. He destroyed this thing. Man, look at that fish. Nice. Chad, did you want pictures of this little guy? Guess not. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, morning. Good morning, guys. We are back on Bienville with Chad Hoover and John Cox kayak fishing and having a good time. So um, we're going to be here for just a few couple hours this morning. We got some business to do, but we're all getting bit right here. So stay tuned. We're going to have a blast. Wait a minute. I don't know if he's got grass in him or he's just heavy. Oh, I'm going for a little bit of a sleigh ride on this big old fish. He's got me in some grass. I hope I can get him out. I'm trying, but he's got me wrapped in something. There he comes. Oh, he got off. Crap. It's about a four pounder. Okay, so right now I'm sitting in a spot where I know there's a 10 pounder within one cast. I mean, we have caught way too many big fish in the last, well, we caught, uh, John caught a eight here yesterday and lost two big ones and had a big one following the eight that he caught. And I mean, and it was all just right here. And we've been whacking them for several minutes. All of a sudden the bites kind of stopped a little bit, but it is amazing to be sitting here at Bienville and just know you are one cast length from a 10 pounder somewhere in this scattered grass. Uh, just a matter of getting him to bite. All right, so John and I decided we're gonna go find some dirtier water. There's a, this lake is pretty cool. It's half grass and half not grass. And so a good place to go to it would be the uh, the last part of that grass and uh we're gonna go there and work our way and just mess around and play around over there i think they're gonna be stacked over there. there there's big ones here there's just not a lot of fish so we're gonna go find that dirtier water see what happens yep i got him go oh, i got him I let it sink down just next to the grass. He ain't huge, but man, he hit it like a freight train. Yeah. Man. Come on over here. Whoo, that was awesome. I had one little patch of grass that was a little bit further out than everything else. I swam it over top of that patch of grass and just killed it. And it never made it to the bottom. Mm. Man, I love Bienville. Guys, seriously, you need to get here for that uh, seminar that Chad and I are putting on. Four, almost four days of fishing, three nights. It's awesome. I know it's, a, you know, the price is expensive for some guys. It's uh, $1,500 a head, but 
if you look at their regular packages, you're saving almost $500. And you're getting a whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to have giveaways. We've got our sponsors on board, everything else. So be here. I'll put the link down in the description. Can't wait to see you. And the slots are filling up pretty quick. Dude. If this thing is a little one, He was in the grass, but he ain't little. He's towing me. I ain't even seen him yet. Unless he's a gator. Oh, freaking turtle. About the size of the front of my boat. <laughs> yeah, one of those soft shell turtles. <laughs> I want my bait back now. Is that on the category? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got some handy, too. We going on a sleigh ride with a turtle. Man, he's huge. <laughs> oh. Get him undone. Really? He keeps swallowing it even further. There we go. Woo! Got it. So, so far we have caught a turtle and a mudfish on this side of the lake. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a big one on. No, he's just a mean one. Right in the dirtier water. He's about three and a half. He ain't no little one. <laughs> Man, as soon as we got to this dirtier water, threw my little swimming worm in and didn't even have to swim it. He was just swimming off with it. And that was it. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe we can get into some good ones over here. Got him. Yep. Oh, it's a good one. Crap. Not a great one, but good for me. Man, I love topwater fish. Golly. Caught him on a little water pl whopper plopper. <laughs> Man, these fish have got a bunch of teeth. They hurt. Awesome. Let him go. This has got this real shallow flat that runs all, or it's a long point, runs all the way out in the middle of this pocket. And uh, grass on top, that's probably nine feet, or it's seven feet underneath me, seven feet on the other side. And they're pushing bait fish up into this grass. And so they're just up in it, and it's in about that much water. Blast, absolute blast, love it. Whoa, he freaking destroyed it. <laughs> My goodness.
John's got one on over there. <laughs> now, come on now. Man, that was awesome. Not a bad one, but man, he freaking killed it. <laughs> I don't know how many times I threw into this spot before he hit it. But these bass are buried up in this grass. It's shallow, shallow grass. And uh, not a whole lot of them. They're fairly scattered. But they are eating. They're missing this whopper plopper a lot though. So it's not, not probably not the perfect bait for this. But I want to catch them on top water. Probably do a whole lot better swimming a swimming fluke or a cinco or a swimming cinco or a paddle tail worm or something and letting it sink down. But I want to catch them on top. All right, so instead of giving up on this spot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the other side and change the direction of cast or the angle of cast and, uh, and see if I can catch some more fish. A lot of times you can do that. You got a spot that's got several fish and, and you just kind of change directions and uh and you'll get a couple two three more to bite that's that's the goal anyway oh gosh <laughs> it was right there he come out of the way out of the water to get it as i was lifting it up out of the water boy that almost make you crap your drawers so because they're so shallow and because we're catching them swimming and just dropping them. I switched to a uh, little quarter ounce weighted swim bait hook by, uh, I think this is a Moner hook, so that's all I use anyway. Yeah, of course it's a Moner hook. But I uh, love these swim bait hooks. And I'm gonna throw the paddle tail on, and when I run out of my last paddle tail, I'll go bum some off of John over there. Awesome. Just keep biting it down until it gets to nothing. Until it's a little minnow. <laughs> still catching them. Still got the tail on. Like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish. Have a great day. We'll see you.